lovely day today. And this dog very excited. Of course, she's usually very excited. Okay, I'm headed back out to the garage here and we're gonna get a little more done on the Rover rear panel here. Oh, and thanks to everybody who ordered a Plymouth Fury shirt from the second run of them. That is fantastic. We're gonna take orders for another week. So if you were thinking of getting one, uh, this would be a good time. This will be the last time we run it. I can't see any reason why we would ever do a third run of the shirt. So uh, if you're interested in one, that would be awesome. Thanks very much. Let's see what's going on here. Well, do you want to just stay outside while I do this, or are you going to come with me? Okay, you can stay outside then. Okay, back on the rear of the rover. Here's the piece I made, and I've just got it tacked a few spots along here just to start getting it lined up. So what I'm going to do, just to minimize it screwing off, is I'm going to just lightly screw the original piece back to the rear of the car in its original location. Then I'm going to clamp the new piece to the bottom where I want it and then we're going to weld this seam and then we're going to grind it, take it off and then we're going to attempt to hammer it back to something straight. Of course a weld that long, that's going to get funky. Probably like Bootsy Collins going to weld that. So. Anyhow, it's pretty straight ahead. Just a long weld and pretty boring. So I don't know if we'll bother filming very much of that at all. The real effort is going to be straightening this out so that it can go back on. Of course, I've unfolded my flanges at the end because they weren't quite in the right place and I want to be able to fine tune all that anyhow. So we'll do that when we're done. Meanwhile, the real job here is just this great big long weld. Somebody asked why you didn't make the whole thing and that's a pretty good question and I considered it except that you can see that this flange in here, you have to fold there, one, two, three, four, four extra folds, none of which would be very doable in a break. And uh, it actually dips down a bit for the latch in the middle. So and I even considered making it up to here and just uh, welding it in there. But what's the difference, right? The reason I left all this is because here, is where I've cut it away from the original piece. So if I don't get too cute, I should be able to just weld that right back in when we're done. And that uh, should pay me back for some of the time uh, by not doing it up to here. And I don't weld on corners ever because you can never stretch it back out if it's on a corner. If you weld it on a corner and it shrinks and it changes shape, you're kind of done. You gotta start over pretty much. So anyhow, let's, uh, let's do that. All right. And there we are, a few tacks just to hold it. And now we're gonna start filling it in. And uh, yeah, so far so good. See it's sitting pretty nice and tangent. And uh, rolls in at the edges here a little bit more like we wanted. It wasn't exactly parallel here, but it never did because I'm clamped to the original uh, inside panel there. And then, of course, we are going to have to weld up all the edges here, which I'm not really looking forward to, but that's going to be part of the deal. And easy to get it right back where it was because we have the original welds there. So, uh, yeah, overall, it's going well. Just it's slow and bullshit like everything else, but that's okay. Uh, this damage here, it did leave by the time I got it out. This uh, loose edge here was a little wiggly waggly, so uh, it was a bit of a job getting these off. I've had it on and off a couple of times to get these little tacks in there, but uh, you know, whatever. A uh, bit of a gap here, not super thrilled, but overall, though, for a butt weld four feet long, it's going to be just fine, and I will get started on that now. Because what else would you do on a Sunday night at midnight? You would weld up the rover. Uh, I'm excited. And we got a pretty fun week coming up this week, so I want to make sure that this is, uh, you know, out of the way so that we can do some other stuff as well. And, you know, with the boys and all that. So, all right, I'll get busy. It's going to take a few minutes, so I'm not going to make you watch. Here we have it. Just roughly welded on. 
I haven't finished the edges yet. I want to take it off to do that because it's pretty hard to line all that up. And ditto here. The whole thing needs to flatten out a little bit. And of course we gotta dolly all the weld flat. But it didn't go too sideways. So we'll uh, pull it off here and uh, I'm going to take it over to the bench so it's just not uh, just at a nicer working height. Okay, got it set up in the vise here and I'm just going to tap on it for a few minutes. And it goes like this, it comes up in the middle and goes like this. So what I'm going to try and do is just take all that and just kind of you know, just to sign what they used to call a line of best fit. Pick something that you can make everybody happy with and just hammer it all to look like that. Dep, dep. Where's all the hammers and shit? I may put it in the air hammer and just drive around on it for a while. But I don't want to get the worst of it out. Can you see it at all? Oh. It's a little closer. Um, I'm going to start uh, uh, stretching out the low spots a little bit uh, while trying to keep pushing the extra metal where I have it into those spots. Let's see what happens.
So I ran it through the little planishing hammer thing and we got it to about this stage and then I kind of just threw it back on to test fit it. A couple of screws, a couple of clamps and at that point I'm pretty satisfied with it I think. You can see when we look down it, uh, it has a pretty reasonable shape to it. And again, I'm not interested in getting every little speck out of this. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that we're going to do this thing without any body work at all. I've uh, gone ahead and folded my corners over and tacked all that so that when this goes together, I'm going to clean that corner up, obviously. We'll cut that off and tidy that up. we got a little welding to do here. And I've done the same over here, joined this to this, and then that's all going to get butted back together there. And uh, we can see, looking pretty good under here. Got her all clipped back, well, whatever, got her lightly clipped back on there. Yeah, this might be an opportunity to use my new spot welder. Uh, before that can happen though, i got to pull this back off and clean up the panel behind it and paint that. So I guess we'll do that first, but thought we might like to have a look at how it's coming. And uh, yeah, so, you know, for such a long butt weld, I'm just uh, feeling good to get away with that at all because there was a time in my life when that would not have looked as good as it does here. Not that it's perfect here, but the, the, the purpose here is not to get this to a mirror finish, but just to get it to the point where you're not having to carve it all out of Bondo. We can pretty much put a skim of Bondo on this, sand it, and prime it. And that's that's always the goal. I never have, uh, you know, I'm not building a bare, bare metal finished cars here. Uh, that's not that's not the goal. So anyway, that's going to look uh, pretty good, I think. Let's pull it off and tidy up underneath it and put some rust-proof primer and whatnot in there. And I will probably lightly paint the inside of my new piece and uh, that'll be it. So let me just get this off and we'll have a quick look. So there's the old one anyway. Yeah, this is all still very solid and strong and made out of substantially heavier steel than the outer skin. So this has survived uh, more or less in good condition. So I'm just going to clean it and we're going to paint down to about this line here with some kind of rust proofing. Oh, there's a pit there we're going to weld up and that is going to be that. Let me get that done and then we're going to put this back together and we'll see how it goes. And there we go. Got that all painted up there. That's uh, just an epoxy primer for bare metal. Uh, yeah. Looks fine. I think that's definitely improvement over the original factory coating of nothing at all. So I'll uh, be happy with that. And I just did the same thing on the inside of the pan there. And uh, yeah, a couple of coats of epoxy just brushed on there. That's going to be plenty. So uh, unfortunately, that means this has to dry. I'm not going to try and weld that back on with the uh, wet primer just the risk of fire and the smell and everything so that's gonna have to sit like that for now hey thanks so much for watching and uh thanks again everybody who ordered a t-shirt it really does help keep the show on the air so very cool of you guys uh we're gonna carry on next time uh this will be back on and it's time to start some body work i think once the body work is roughed in I'm going to blow the car apart and we're going to paint the, uh, the, the chassis or like the main body shell and then that's going to go over to Collins and he's going to reassemble the engine and wiring harness and firewall and, and as much of the interior as possible and while he's doing that I'll be prepping and painting the panels individually but and that's all pretty easy as long as they're fitted to the car before you start the prep work so that's what all this is about. Um, then the then the car will come back here with an engine in it and then we're gonna by then all the panels will be painted but not not finished painted but just painted and we're gonna put the whole car back together and final fit on everything 
and that'll give us one more chance to do any little touch-ups or adjustments and it'll also make painting or putting the car together pretty stress-free because um, once it's all together and we're happy with the way everything fits I'm gonna sand the whole car and put two more coats of color on it and then that's what we're gonna sand and polish so uh, still a bit of a process before we're finished here but I really do want to you know I want to be able to walk past this car uh, Laura's never selling it so I want to be able to walk past it and every time I see it go yeah that looks good so there's the plan lovely old rover and we can see we got Keith's fender there ready for bodywork as well we'll see everybody on Saturday I've got lots of fun stuff to do there we've got the Chevy engine going back together maybe a trip to the GCFCE uh, maybe some slant six uh, salvage action and uh, snowmobiles and the usual debauchery so uh, thanks again so much we'll see you then Don't you go. He's a regular Ash. contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>